which after being sidelined because of COVID-19, the Angelina County Benefit Rodeo is back with safety measures in place and they are ready to entertain. That's where we find KLTV 7's Jeremy Thomas. He's live tonight from the Expo Center in Lufkin with more. Jeremy, good evening. Hey Blake, good evening. They call it the greatest show on dirt. Events here inside the Expo Center in Lufkin, as you just mentioned, they're getting ready to kick off. That's going to happen at about 7 o'clock and the crowd and the participants are ready to get back to doing what they love for a good cause. We're very excited to be able to put the rodeo back on this year. It's a tradition dating back more than 60 years. All right. The Angelina Benefit Rodeo put on by the Lufkin Host Lions Club is back after COVID-19 canceled last year's event. This year, organizers say there are safety measures in place. We want to be conscious about what's happening here. You do what makes you comfortable. If you want to wear a mask, do so. Uh, the mask mandate is gone in Texas. At the same time, our people who are doing anything here to, to interact with you, they're going to be also taking precautions, making sure that they keep you safe, our community safe, and that we at the same time have a great rodeo. More than 600 cowboys and cowgirls have entered this year's rodeo. We're going to be bigger than ever than it was the year before. We're going to have the motorcycle show. We also have the bull riding, half roping. We have the steer wrestling and the barrel racing. The Lufkin Host Lions Club President Jeff Harkness says the event also does more than entertain. The community comes out and they make it also very special. All the money that we take in and that we have that is by our, by our great sponsors that we have, all that money comes right back into the community. It goes to the State Supporting Living Center in Cinco de Mayo, goes to various organizations. Radio announcer Mike Mathis says in past years, they've raised more than $100,000 and hopes to do so again this time around. This gives us back to our vehicle, back to our opportunity to make things better for a whole lot of people. So all in all, it's a win-win, and we're glad to be back and a part of it. And now the rodeo will run through Saturday, and in the meantime, between now and then, I'm hoping to make a few friends. I don't know if they will be friendly with me or not, but I will tell you this. There is a special giveaway happening on that last day. We do have more information on our website about that giveaway. Reporting live from the Expo Center in Lufkin, Jeremy Thomas, KLTV 7 News. All right, Jeremy, we will have to get you a cowboy hat at some point before all the festivities begin. Jeremy Thomas <laughs> live in Lufkin tonight. Thank you.